For years, it's been a known fact teachers do not have lives outside of school. But one scientist is ready to prove the radical theory she has spent her entire life on. Teachers are normal people. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. Mainstream science says that this is radical and crazy and that none of this makes sense. They group it with things like Bigfoot and they group it with things like Atlantis and everything else. But my research proves that teachers are real people. They're normal people like you and me. They can be seen everywhere. At parks, malls, restaurants, grocery stores. We see these teachers everywhere. There's too many sightings for it to just be a coincidence or for it to not be true. All we need to break through to mainstream science is a little luck and a lot of persistence. Dr. Jones assembled a team of researchers to work on this groundbreaking project. Dr. Jones, she's so great. She really knows her stuff. This is awesome. I've been waiting my whole life to work on this project. However, mainstream science has never wavered on their stance on this issue. sorts of stuff that set, that proves teachers stay at school. They don't ever leave. Have you ever looked up at a school and seen the fact that there are automobiles there every hour of the day? What do you think that means? Day and night, teachers are even caught sleeping at their desk after school. You think that they go home? No, they sleep at that desk every day. They're even there on the weekends. Have you ever seen the inside of a teacher's classroom? I've seen the inside of a teacher's classroom. There's everything from microwaves to coffee pots, blankets, couches. Do you think those are for the students? Oh no. Other experts agree. Have you seen Miss Bukowski? She has the same four shirts, the same pairs of pants, and she wears them all the time. There is no way she goes home to change. According to my research, teachers have proven to be able to grade over 300 tests a night. But when you factor in their home life and everything they do, it just doesn't add up. A normal person should only be able to grade 100 papers a night. This, these numbers just don't match. There's always been people like this. They just, they call themselves scientists. They're just a bunch of people that don't know what they're talking about. Despite the strong opinions against her theory, Dr. Jones believes she finally has the perfect chance to capture evidence to prove her idea. Through all the evidence we've collected, we found that teachers have these grading periods. And at the end of the grading periods, they have parties. Well, we think we know when the next party might be. We are led to believe that the grading period will end on Friday the 25th. These reports have led Dr. Jones to set up a daring plan. So, our plan is to make a stakeout. We're going to collect all the information we can. We're going to look at everything. We're going to sit there the whole night and wait for them to get there and get as much footage as we can. As the team prepared, enthusiasm was high. We've got the best equipment, and we've done the research. We can do this. This is going to be the greatest scientific discovery since penicillin. Things did not go as smoothly as the team had hoped. I don't know what happened. The car just started to smoke. We had to pull over and work on it. Dr. Jones tried everything. By the time we made it to the restaurant, everyone was gone. It looked like we just missed them. I guess we'll just have to keep going. Not sure what happened. Could have been a mistake. Could have been bad luck. Could have been anything, but... It didn't go as planned, and we didn't get what we needed. The team isn't giving up. Because there's another grading period coming up in a couple of weeks, and we'll be there. We're going to stake it out just like we did before, and this time we will get the information we need. We can prove this.